Okay, today I'm going to show you this multifunction clock that I've got. It's got the 24-hour uh, uh, super long recording time, 140 degree wide angle. Got a kind of a hidden camera here and a good design. I really like that design. Here's what the box looks like. I uh, ordered this. And I got the motion detection, photograph, video, sound record, remote control on it. Some of the specs on it are the 5 megapixel CMOS sensor, 1280 by 960. Goes into AVI at 30 frames per second. And uh, that's basically uh, the motion detection distance is about 6 meters. And uh, it can do down to 1 lux for a low light. Um, there's two batteries on it, each about 2200 uh, mAh, uh, which are bigger than a standard, uh, like a double A. It's almost like a, it's almost like, uh, two double A's together. So the recording time is more than 24 hours. The remote control works for about 18 meters. And then the uh, recording audio area is uh, quite large, about 40 meters. And it's quite low in its uh, power consumption. And uh, anyway, it has a, a, up to a 32 gigabyte uh, card. And I'm just using a 4 gigabyte uh, card at this point. The uh, charge time on it is about um, 8 hours. And uh, out of one, um, out of the memory, it says one gig for every 40 minutes, so four gigs would be 160 minutes. It's actually got a little hidden camera right in here. What it has right now, it's showing the temperature, then the time for about uh, 20 seconds, and then it'll flip back to the date right there. And then it goes back and forth through all those, so you can see the uh, quality there and the shine on it. It's a beautiful clock. It's got a smoked glass exterior, and... Um, Looks like it's a glass front with a metal band on it, and then a ABS plastic on the back. It's uh, got the batteries open here so that you can see the different batteries and the functions. You got the mode here, and then it's actually a talking clock. There you go. It's a little bit of like a female voice, a little creepy if you ask me. So I'm gonna open it up here. This is brand spanking new. Go ahead, and open this up here. I have another one that I've already, uh, this is what they look like when they come out. They have a little stand here so they can sit up like this. And then there's actually a thin plastic thing that I'm going to pull off of there. And I'll show you on the other one that I've already got all opened up. It looks like inside I'm not going to do a huge, there's a nice little uh, foam cushion here that sits on. And then inside are all the various parts. You've got a charger, remote control. Uh, an instruction manual, which I will have translated instructions into English because it's almost unintelligible again, as usual. And then a USB charge cord as well as a plug-in charge cord right here. And there's a CD disc down here at the bottom. That's uh, so that you can use it as a webcam and so that you can also recognize it as an external hard drive. And also it's got the operating system, I believe, for the entire clock on there according to the instructions. So hopefully um, we'll take a look at it. Okay, I've already taken the time to turn this one on. Set the date and the time. It's actually quite simple. It's a matter of hitting the time button and then going up and down to set the, the date. And then the time um, is the same thing. You, you follow the instructions. It's very simple. Anyway, right now what I'd like to do is peel off this plastic layer because I really want to show you what this looks like inside. This is the actual cloth lens, and you can see with my light shining directly through that you can see the lens. But under normal circumstances like this, you're not going to be able to see it at all. Like that, because it's a glass lens. So, and when you shine a light on it, you can actually see some of the, the internal workings of it. That bright light really shows it off, but let me show you by taking that light off here. There you go, that's what you got, right there. I'll go ahead and prop that up and... You can take a look at that. That's what it normally looks like right there. And then it alternates between the time and the date. It's 8.10 and then the temperature. Except that for both 24 hour or 12 hour. You can set it also for Celsius or Fahrenheit. And uh, it was all about two minutes to set everything. So here's the back of it. And in here you've got the uh, USB right here. You've got the uh, on off. That's for the clock function you got your little TF card here I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to put that in right there go ahead and put that right there it's a four gigabyte class four that's what I wanted and then uh, 
you can see that you put it facing out and you just click it in just real gently Finger now and it clicks in and you click it out the same way and it pops up it's just like uh, the cell phones or any of these other devices they're all like that and then you can see there's these uh, super batteries they call you know they come when they're shipped with a, a plastic sleeve on them so that they won't act accidentally activate while they're being shipped and there you go Okay, I'm doing this right now in order to give you an idea of what it looks like with a 30 watt bulb. This is what 30 watt looks at at about 4 feet. It's quite dim, but uh, that's just basically what it does. I also want you to hear the sound. Now I'm going to go ahead and bump this up to 60 watts. So you can see what 60 watts does at 4 feet. Also, I'll move out to about 6 feet here. Now I'm going to uh, move all the way out with a 100 watt bulb. So you can see what the 100 watt does here. This is about 4 feet. This is about 6 feet. So you can get an idea of how it uh, performs here. Okay, this is with a fully brightly lit room here. Now uh, keep in mind um, that this is probably about 200 watts or so that's being shown out around the room here. This is a normally lit daytime room. I'm going to show you around the place here. Some of my products sitting here. I'm going to show you outside. See outside here. See what quality it provides out there. Come inside here. 